the importance of national sovereignty and social stability. Moroccans are overrepresented enormously in the Dutch crime statistics. More than 60% of the Moroccan youth under the age of 23 has been arrested by the Dutch police. And they are in general, when it comes to violent street crimes, 20 times off, more often been arrested on many crimes. But if a given society has a problem with members of one particular group, is it wise for a politician to ostracize the whole group? Well, you know, it's wise to tell the truth. I did not invent that people from Morocco are overrepresented in the statistics. Is that high rate of crime because these people are Moroccan? Or is that also because they are unemployed? I'm not a psychologist or sociologist. I don't care why people are criminal. A right-wing government, led by Geert Wilders' PVV party, embodies principles of law and order, national security, cultural preservation, and democratic values. The new coalition's policies, such as stringent actions against non-EU immigrants and mass deportations, aim to curb crimes often linked to young Moroccans and safeguard national unity. These measures respond to public fears about safety and criticisms of the previous government's handling of immigration. Deporting those without valid residence permits is seen as essential for upholding the rule of law and fostering social solidarity. The emergence of this government and its policies have sparked significant social reactions, signaling a shift in Dutch collective consciousness. The fear of losing cultural identity and the desire for security reflect a societal response to a perceived crisis, fueling political and social transformation. The public debate, including Wilder's comments on Moroccan crime rates and the scrutiny of these statistics, highlights the tension between empirical evidence and moral considerations.